So a quick example of some of these vocabulary words, class width, class midpoint, class boundary. So if I'm looking at a frequency table in front of me, how can I determine the class width? You have two choices. You either subtract two consecutive lower class limits or you subtract two consecutive upper class limits. So for example, we could do 35 minus 32, which gives us three. And I always like to double check my math. So I would do another example. What if I did 37 minus 34? And that's also three. So I've declared that the class width is three. And by the way, I abbreviate class width as CW. So feel free to do the same as well. So class width is equal to three. Perfect. What is the class midpoint of the third class? So vocabulary, what is the third? Oh, and here's, a, here's another way to check the class width is if you add three each time, does it work? Yes, it does. And same thing over here. If you add three each time, does it work? Yes. Okay. So um, what's the class midpoint of the third class? So third class, this is one, two, three. Here's your third class. What is the midpoint? Well, I want the middle number. Now, 38 and 40 is a very, very nice, easy number. So you could actually think about it. What is the middle of 38, 39, 40? So you could already tell me that you know the answer is 39. However, sometimes we're working with really large ranges of values, or like you saw on the previous page, decimals. You may not be able to mentally think about what the middle is. So again, let's, let's go through the structure of how to get there. What is the midpoint? So X subscript M means that I'm calculating a data value X for the midpoint. Lowercase M subscript means midpoint. And the way we mathematically calculate it, and in this class, we're going to always write our formula first. We're going to do lower class limit plus the upper class limit divided by two. That's, again, something you need to remember how to do. So I would take the third class. So I would take my lower class limit is 38. My upper class limit is 40. Add them together and divide by two. So feel free to, to practice using your calculator and make that calculation. So our, our midpoint, again, we already talked about mentally, if that sounds right. Yes, it does. The middle of 38 and 40 is 39. What is the class boundary between the fourth and the fifth class? So that's asking between the fourth and the fifth class, what is that boundary? You can, all, you can almost also already guess this one. It goes from 43 to 44. What would be the middle of 43 and 44? It's going to be 43.5. Okay, so how did I get that? I averaged the two values. So 43 plus 44 divided by 2 gives us 43.5. You also, since these are whole numbers, you could add and subtract 0 .0, uh, 0.5 to it. That's a quick way also to get to the class boundary. That is up to you how you do the class boundary. You just need to know how to do that calculation. Okay. So you'll, um, I think you have a, like one or two practice problems in your homework, so you'll get there. And then what are the class boundaries for the first class? So I'm coming up here. Here's my first class. What are the class boundaries? Well, again, I could quickly just add and subtract 0.5 from both to get my class boundaries of 31.5 to 34.5. Okay. So this is my lower class boundary. This is my upper class boundary. That would be the vocabulary words I would use to describe this.